up you guys it is your girl unique the iconic today we are going to be doing a review on the new Laura Mercier translucent honey setting powder I am so happy I got my hands on this you guys I've been really wanting to try this I do use the regular Laura Mercier um, translucent powder but um, I really want to try this out and I want to see how this is going to look especially because this goes really well with my skin tone well I hope it will go well with my skin tone, but I'm really excited to, to try this and to see how this is going to work. Um, I got this from Sephora. I paid $42. That was with tax included. So I've already went ahead and I did my eyebrows. I'm just going to go ahead and hop right into the rest of my face with you all. So I'm going to be using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This is the water gel. I like this a lot. This is a great drugstore brand for like um moisturizers i i only thing i don't like about it is that this one has like a scent and i really don't like scents on my um on my face that's just me but the scent really doesn't like bother me to the point where i'm like okay i don't want to wear this product at all i already had like some rose oil on my face before but i'm just putting this moisturizer on so it's just kind of like a nice layer for my foundation to sit on. I have really been moisturizing my face, you guys, because like, I don't know what's been going on, but I think I need to drink more water. But my, um, my face has been like somewhat dry a little bit, just only like in this area, like on my nose. I was like, I don't know what's going on, but I really do think it's because of me not drinking enough water. Moisturizer is a great base for your foundation. Like you don't really need primer. I always recommend people get like water gels because they just are so much better for the face. Like it absorbs faster. It absorbs way more nicer, ni nicer, way more. Yeah, I would say nicer. <laughs> I can't get my words out today, you guys. I don't know what's going on. Um, but yeah, I just prefer water gel. I'm gonna get a good amount on my forehead, okay? Because the forehead in my area be the driest. Now I'm going to go with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Like I said, I've, I've been wearing a lot of dewy looks for the past couple of um, days. I would say weeks more so because I don't really like matte faces on me. It all depends. So now we're gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me. These are the Dewy Smooth Foundations. This is in the shade 330, which is Toffee and 355 and Coconut. I mixed these two together to get my almost exact shade, but I really do, I really, really like these foundations, the Dewy ones over the matte ones for myself, because I feel like the matte ones are sometimes a bit too drying for me. And I think that these kind of give more of that like sheer coverage I would say like more of a medium coverage rather than full and I feel like this is way more buildable as well so I'm gonna go in with the 330 first I just kind of like to get my concealer brush and like wipe a few um, strokes on my face like this like so and then I'll grab the 355 and the coconut and then I kind of just mix it in a little bit with it like that so it's just like all together. Now I'm gonna grab my a beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend it out. one side down oh so smooth all right I always recommend you guys that you use beauty blenders during the like summer a lot for your face because when you do like the heavy duty foundations like I'm sorry not heavy duty whenever you use like a brush sometimes you know it, it keeps the product on your face but the beauty blender I, th I feel like it just 
helps your face a lot whenever you're like in the summertime because you know sweat and everything i personally recommend using i like beauty, beauty blenders. i like beauty blenders regardless you guys me personally I feel like they blend out so much better. I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade 410. This is a mon almond, almond, almond. And then this is the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Concealer. This is in the shade um, 07 Creme Brulee. I'm gonna use. <laughs> I'm going to use these both just under here. I'm going to put the L'Oreal one first. Now I'm gonna use the Beauty Bakery one and put it like right here. Now we're gonna blend it out with the same Beauty Blender. Now we're gonna take the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake one. We're just gonna put like a few dots so I can brighten it up a little bit. And then on my nose. I'm going to put some a little bit, just a little bit right there. Now we're going in with the black opal foundation stick. This is in the shade Karab. I'm going to use the Morphe M105 brush to blend out the contour on my cheeks and on my forehead. For my nose, you guys, I don't bring it all the way down. I kind of like stop like right here. So I've been like really liking my nose contours to look very natural. This is what it looks like, you guys, the powder. It's like yellow. I like this color. It looks like it's going to be really good for my skin tone. Okay, so after blending that out, I'm going to go ahead and just re-blend out the concealer to make sure there's no creases. I have big eyes, you guys. So my eyes are going to, you know, naturally crease. So, oh, that's too much powder. So I can't really help it. Now I'm going in with the powder. Okay, wait a minute. I think I might like this. Oh. Oh my gosh. I think I like this, you guys. Laura Mercier never ceases to amaze me. It's, I really like it. It looks really good. Oh, okay, I really do. I like the color. So I definitely do think that I'm going to be doing like a, like an all day wear test. So like we can see like how it starts to look after. It definitely does have that yellow tint in it but it still looks like you know really good it doesn't look like it's too yellowy on me it looks it looks good on me mm, I don't hate it I don't hate it you guys I definitely do not hate it I, I think that we might can make it work um, let me just finish my face so we can see okay you guys so this is the completed look um 
I like the setting powder. I do think that looks really good. I can definitely tell like it does have that yellow flashback, but not like the bad yellow flashback. It looks pretty good to me. Now, would I wear it compared to the regular translucent? Um, it depends on my mood. It depends on like what I'm going for, the type of look. If I want to be bright like this, like I can definitely tell like this is like the yellow is definitely there. You can see like that tint of yellow, but it's still translucent. But um, it just will all depend. I'm not knocking it. The formula is still the same. I'm not going to lie though. When I was doing my face, the, um, the powder, it seemed like it was a bit more drying than the regular one that I use. But I don't know. Maybe I put too much or whatever. But yeah, it did seem like it. But I mean... I like it. I do think that it works really well for, you know, brown skin tones like myself and darker. I would definitely recommend it. Um, I don't hate it. Like, I don't hate it at all. I do like it. But, um, yeah, I'm not knocking it. I do like it. It looks really smooth. And it doesn't look too dry once I sprayed it down with my setting spray. But, um, I like it. I do think that it is pretty nice. The color is not doing too much, I would say. Um, I probably would mix the translucent and the yellow together a little bit. Um, but I'm going to do like a 12, uh, not a 12 hour. I'm going to do like an all day wear test to see if the color like changes a little bit while I'm out and about. Um, but yeah, so I'll be back and I'll show y'all what it looks like once I'm getting ready to take my makeup off. All right, you guys. So this is, you know... For me wearing it all day. I've been having it on for a, a, quite a, a good minute. Um, it still looks pretty yellow. My face looks a little oily, but that's normal. But yeah, I mean, it's still, I like it. I mean, the color didn't change. It looks, it still looks pretty good. As you can see. Mm. I, I definitely give it like a good, I would say out of, out, one out of 10, one to 10. I would give it like a good eight. I would say like an eight and a half, probably. Yeah, it's pretty good though. Let me stop. But um, other than that, you guys, I do hope y'all like this video. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe. I show you guys some love. Um, also subscribe to my new channel, Unique Uzumaki. If you're into anime, K-pop, or anything like that, I will definitely put the link in the description box. But other than that, you guys. Um, love y'all. Stay subscribing, share, comment, do that all. You know, your support does not go unnoticed. Um, but yeah, I'm out.